We were rejoicing at workplace on the occasion of Gratitude Day, which we celebrated annually. However, this time the celebration was much more compelling, as the firm had turned 25. The business head was invited to address the whole workforce. All were dressed up in the business attire, loaded with freshness and a spirit of enthusiasm. It was now time for the business head to speak a few words of encouragement. Nobody imagined that the speech would make us feel so empowered. It went straight into the subconscious. It was quite descriptive, covering every inch of individual's effort, but there was a message he wanted us to understand. The words shared by Mr. Business Head persuade me to share the three observations he made to leave a message of self-acceptance. Recalling the past years of his life, Mr. Business Head shared three of his observations about doubting ability, underestimating appearance and enviousness. First, doubting ability. A deer stood at the edge of a pond, observing his reflection in the water. He was in self-admiration with his beautiful massive antlers and at the same time in disgust with the super skinny legs. Within no time he bounced back from his conflicting thoughts and ran away from the pond. Do you know why? It was the hungry predator chasing him into the woods. What happened next was astonishing. The deer maintained sufficient distance from the cheetah during the chase but its antlers through the dense bush deaccelerated him and he gradually came to halt. On the other hand, the predator took advantage of the situation to hunt the deer rapidly. This couldn't be worse than expected. The second observation of underestimating appearance. Ever heard of Steve Harvey talk show? Check this out. Why do men lie so much? This was asked by a lady in the talk show and the reply by Steve Harvey goes like this. Because we are afraid of your reaction to the truth, lying can be a good thing because lying spares people's feeling. We have to lie. What you don't want is us telling you, do I look fat or baby? Baby, what do you think? Do you know the hell that happens in our life right there? So no, you don't look fat to us. We love you just the way you are. The bottom line is to accept yourself and not worry about others' opinions. The third observation of enviousness. A statement by my classmate reminds me of the description of the dream life he wished to have. He said, I want a life wherein I get out of BMW in a suit like a millionaire with my daughter to drop her at school every day. It sounded like a vague and baseless thought as it didn't align with the kind of personality or the character he had. You see, we all are fascinated by the desire to acquire the shiniest or glittery things that we don't possess. Let me amend my statement. We are overpowered by just the thought of getting it. Why? We don't know. It's just a script or the inner chatter in our subconscious mind that wants us to be imaginative. We must realize and first accept ourselves and understand who we are and who do we need to become to get that kind of a dream life. It is absolutely fine to recognize our weaknesses. He concluded his speech by saying, self-acceptance or an individual's acceptance, considering all the attributes good or bad, helps in decoding the way things align to your life. And it is the best way to understand, recognize, improve and sustain. Remember this, self-acceptance leads to self-admiration. He asked everyone, tell me, 
do you accept yourself? And added, I accept the way I am. And now, I ask you today, what is your acceptance statement? Share in the comments below. And if you love it, stay tuned while I will head towards the next milestone and get you more ways of expressing gratitude. Thank you.